I swear to God, I thought this book was like the 80s. <laughs> so that's on me. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have to be completely honest with you. Today's video was 100% influenced by my bookish friends. <laughs> More specifically, uh, Brie, Samantha, Desiree, Jessica, Lisa, um, if you follow any of them, and I will link their channels below, then you probably have come across at least one of their videos, basically unboxing um, mystery box of romance books. <laughs> now, I will be completely honest yet again, I was trying to resist uh, buying a box for the longest time. I, one, don't have the space, <laughs> and two, I usually like to at least know what I'm buying before I actually buy it, you know, makes sense. But at the same time, I just can't help it. After seeing so many of their videos and reviews just raving about the book lots that they have obtained on eBay, I finally just had to give in and um, get a box for myself and experience it on my own. There's something about just getting a package in the mail that's a surprise in general, and that's exactly what today's box is. So I thought that it would be fun to um, do an unboxing as well as a book haul. They're one and the same, <laughs> obviously, in today's case. But I have my box here, and um, as you can see, I have not opened it. It has been sitting on my dining room table for the past mm, three or four days, calling my name, tempting me, but I'm like, no, I want to open the box on camera so that I can experience it with you all and we can see exactly what all the books are. Now, I will say that um, <clears throat> there are specifically Harlequin novels in this box. That was the book lot that I went ahead and went with, but if you are familiar with um, eBay and book lots in general, you'll know that there are a wide variety of books book packages and book lots that you can buy, um, be it romance specific, you know, you've got your historical romance, you've got your book lots that are a specific author, you've got the Harlequin ones, again, which is the one that I have, and then you also have different genres as well. When I was on eBay, I was looking in general, <laughs> I fell down the rabbit hole, I have to admit, but I was looking around in general and there were mystery book boxes, um, book boxes of Stephen King books or Dan Brown books. Um, there were cozy mystery book lots, which wink, wink, <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you want me to get one of those boxes. Not that I need any extra influence to push me over, but I thought it would be fun. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this box. I'm super excited and, um, see what goodies lay inside. Totally sealed up. No cheating. So what you're about to get is my 100% um, genuine response. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but mostly excited uh, because let's be honest, book FOMO is so real. Um, and I know that whatever is in here, I'm going to love it. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure most of these are going to be older Harlequins, but I could be mistaken. All right, so I've opened the box, the brown wrapping. Let's go ahead and unmask that. Ah, okay, so if I remember correctly, I ordered a box of 15 books. So got quite a bit here. And the seller promised that there would be no duplicates, which that would be kind of a bummer, but um, pretty sure I don't own any of these. I can go ahead and say that now, only because I recently unhauled a bunch of Harlequin books that I had already read or I knew I wasn't gonna read. So um, it would be sheer coincidence if I have any of these already, or at least have read any of them. So, okay, let's dive in. <clears throat> so, first up, okay. So, first up, we have a Harlequin Presents. I can already see, no, not gonna look, not gonna pre preview and look, but first we have a Harlequin Presents. This one is by Maya Blake, and I've actually heard of her before, so that already lets me know that these aren't super old school. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Um, <laughs> this one is called Sheik's Pregnant Cinderella, which I'm like, okay, well, let's see what that's about. I do notice that it's larger print, which, man, I'm getting old because I'm looking at this print and it does not look 
large. Oh, but you know what? It says larger print. So maybe it just means like larger than what the average is, but not necessarily the large print. So, okay, that makes me feel better because I'm like, if this is large print, I need um, to up my prescription for my glasses. So um, let's see really quickly. This one is a royal marriage of convenience. And I'm not gonna go through and read all of the descriptions cause you would be here forever and I would be too. But I do wanna check really quickly when this was released just because I'm curious about the publication date and it's 2018, so um, recent. So that's cool, promising. I'm wondering if the rest of the books are recent or if it's a mix, so let's find out. Okay, book number two, we have another Harlequin Presents and it's larger print again. Ah, oh, my eyes thank them, whoever put this box together, because um, I'm liking the larger print. So this one is by Sandra Martin, and it's called The Ruthless Caleb Wild. I'm assuming Caleb is the hero in this case. Let's see. Um, he is an infamous attorney and has a merciless streak and a razor sharp mind. Obviously, there is a woman who is going to challenge him. <laughs> but I can see by looking at the back, this is part of the Wild Brothers series. So that's interesting. You guys know I'm a fan of series. So um, especially when there's brothers involved. So I'm excited to read this one as well. Next, this is book number three. Ah, Harlequin Intrigue. Okay, I love this line because I do like um, romantic suspense and that is exactly what this line is. This one is called Criminal Alliance by Angie Morgan. I'm gonna just really flip again to see the year because so far these are looking pretty new, which I'm surprised about just because what I paid for this box was so inexpensive. You would think that they would be older backlist, not like vintage to where the price goes back up, but just way older, um, you know, out of print. This one is 2020. Oh my goodness, super new. That's amazing. So um, I'm guessing there's a cowboy theme in here just because of Homeboy's hat. But this is about um, FBI operative Therese and Texas Ranger Wade Hamilton. They agreed to team up with one goal in mind to find and stop an algorithm that can destroy Dallas. So there we go with the cowboy setting. Um, again, any kind of romantic suspense, I'm automatically down. And then when you have two reluctant protagonists teaming up together, that's even better. Next we have, okay, I'm noticing a trend here and I'm hoping that's not the case the whole box, but again, I'm not gonna look too far ahead. <laughs> Next up we have yet another Harlequin Presents, yet another larger print book. Um, I can appreciate whoever had all of these books because they clearly favor print that you can actually read without squinting. <laughs> but um, this one is called Dimitro Demands His Child. Um, also, or again, this one is by Kate Hewitt. And let's see, um, an heir for her enemy is a tagline. Looks like it's part of the Secret Heirs of Billionaires line or um, series. I'm not too sure, but um, it's about someone named Elante Petrakis, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that too badly, um, and Alekos Dimitro, who apparently was the most ruthless tycoon in Athens. So we got our jet setting. I'm gonna take a wild guess that this takes place somewhere in the Mediterranean, if not Greece, but I'm down for any kind of jet setting, especially these days since, you know, we're stuck at home. <laughs> okay, next, all right. I can already see there's two intrigues back to back here, so oops. <laughs> um, but this one is about, um, or excuse me, this one is called Tribal Blood by Jenna Kernan. And I'm already, I would say this is the most intriguing cover of the lot so far, um, mostly because it's one man as opposed to like a couple or something like that. This is, um, he will always protect Nope, sorry, we misread that. He will always fight to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Okay, so his name is um, Casey Doka, and nope, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> I was trying to read this in my head before saying it out loud. Casey is our heroine, and um, Colt is our hero. I'm assuming this is Colt here, but um, he thought that he would be all on his own on the Apache reservation for months at a time. However, Casey waltzes on because she is on the run. Yep, on the run because she escaped her captors. So um, that will be interesting. I, um, 
I've never read an intrigue or excuse me a romance that takes place um, like on Native American tribal land so it'll be interesting to see how they incorporate and weave that into the storyline since it seems like it plays a pretty big role all right so I said that there were two intrigues back to back let's see this is book number one two three four five six here uh, okay so book number six obviously another intrigue another romantic suspense this one is called ranger guardian ah yes okay angie morgan yet another angie morgan um also a texas ranger i'm noticing a pattern here angie <laughs> so um the ranger's daughter has been taken getting her back is all that matters so i don't even need to read the blurb on this one to know that this is like taken meets Walker, Texas Ranger, and I am so down for that. <laughs> um, again, just out of curiosity, let's just see really quickly because this one looks new. And these are um, so far, yep, okay, 2018. So far, I will say all of these books are like an impeccable quality. I know when you get these book boxes, they will usually give a disclaimer about, you know, normal book wear and tear and everything like that to where they're used or gently used. But I mean, some of these, I'm obviously, well, no. I was gonna say some of these don't even have the spines broken on them which i'm like kudos for even being able to read the book and not break the spine you know okay so we've got two presents coming up back to back so just wanted to give you the heads up <laughs> so this presents is called legacy of his revenge by kathy williams more larger print i love it i don't think i should or i could ever go back to the regular size print now but um this one stars sophie and billionaire matthias and um it looks like he will have to seduce the truth out of her and exact revenge um but as we know that never ends up happening the way that any of our characters expect so this one actually seems really interesting just from the blurb and the little like one-liner quote on the back and um yeah i'm i'm into this one i'm into all of them but this one is definitely kind of in the top echelon of all the books that we went through so far all right so the next presents which makes books number eight <laughs> You'd think I can remember that, but no, I can't. Okay, so book number eight, another presents this one by Danny Collins, The Secret Beneath the Veil. So we've got our traditional presents pose here. Um, I have to be totally honest, these aren't my favorite type of covers, but I will admit these are the most recognizable. Like when I think of Harlequins, especially like in the grocery store book section, y'all know what I'm talking about. These are the kinds that I imagine. So something comforting about them, even though again, they're not my favorite cover styles. Okay, so this one is about Viveka and Mikolas. So, um, Looks like Viveka will marry a stranger. So we've got marriage of convenience um, to a man that she doesn't want to be with, um, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um, very similar trope to a couple of the other ones that we went over. Again, nothing to necessarily write home about, but if you're a fan of these, then this is gonna be right in your wheelhouse. And just to kind of keep up with what I have been doing. The publication year is 2016. So to be honest, this is the oldest book so far, which is not that bad, honestly. Okay, so these next few books I'm stoked about because I can already tell from the covers that are peeking up at me at the box that these are older. So like, yes, that's what I was hoping for. And to be honest, these were the cover styles in the photo um, when I was looking up the book a lot on eBay. So bam check out this lovely vintage gorgeousness <laughs> we have a harlequin romance that was published in 1979 and at the time went for the low low price of only a mere 75 cents which oh my gosh i know obviously money was scaled um to what you made back then but if books were continuously 75 cents today I would not have anywhere to sit in my house because everything would be covered by books because I wouldn't be able to stop buying them. Okay, so this one is by Lucy Gillen and it's called A Handful of Stars. And um, let's take a moment to really appreciate this cover. This is gorgeous. This is what I think about when you say like vintage romance or vintage mass paperback. Um, it's just, it's so like, 
kind of like vibrant in that illustrated sense, a little hard boiled um, style, if you will. And then you've even got these really red edges that I know were probably even more vibrant when the book first came out, but it's been worn down over the last, I don't know, what, 40 years, um, 50 years? I can't do math, it's been a while. Okay, so this one is a short little blurb, so I'm actually gonna read it out loud in its entirety. Um, oh, really quickly, this one was printed in Canada. So this one says, one thing Scott Lingrove doesn't like is losing something he'd set his heart on, someone told Charlotte, and she could well believe it. Unfortunately, the thing Scott wanted most of all was Charlotte's house. Mm, to what lengths would he go to get it? Okay, so doesn't really tell me that much, but tells me enough to hook me in. So definitely count this one as a yes for me. Oh my gosh, I'm just, oh, old books just do it for me. And this is just like such good goodness. <laughs> so needless to say, this is the one I'm excited about so much more. And props to the person who packed this box because um, I feel like they packed the vintage ones at the bottom so that you would be surprised when you came up on them because that's exactly what I am. All right, so next we have, okay, <laughs> so technically it's vintage, but we have yet another Harlequin Presents. However, you can see the difference, the evolution of the styles over the years. Obviously, this is the more recent one, um, and this is kind of the older version. I'll check the date in just a minute, but um, very similar in terms of the title and the circularity or <laughs> the photo in the circle. However, um, you can clearly see that the couple here just looks a lot more vintage. Um, and I, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. So yes, it's technically a present, but it's older and really that's what I wanted. I feel like um, it's interesting to see the writing styles, even if the tropes aren't necessarily that much different over the decades, the writing style I know definitely has changed. So I like to see that in the older books. And by older, I mean, oh, wait, what year? Let's take a look. Oh, wait, no way. Okay, so 97, but I swear to God, I thought this book was like the 80s. <laughs> So that's on me. I don't know. Um, but you know, now that I'm looking at the cover, this power suit, that loose style, that that's a very 90s look, you know, Frasier or Niles would have rocked a suit like that. So um, I guess that tracks. Uh, okay, so let's just quickly talk about the plot. She hired him as an escort, but he'd become the father of her child. That's all I need to know. Um... Five decades of romance. So at this point, Harlequin had already been out for 50 years. That's an interesting tidbit. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the box here, people. We got five more books, so hang with me if you're still sticking around. Okay, next up we have a new line, or new to this unboxing, and it's uh, an American romance, which I was just talking to Brie, I think, about this. Um, this line I've never read before, or at least its current equivalent, if this isn't it, but um, I wanted to read it, and look, it popped up. How serendipitous is that? So this one is called The Doctor's Accidental Family, and it's by Jacqueline Diamond. It looks like it's part of their Safe Harbor medical line, and um, let's see, any guesses on when it was printed? I'm gonna go with, 2002 okay let's see do, do, do. I'm way off 2015 <laughs> I don't know I don't know what's got me all messed up with my timelines and decades of guessing the covers but I guess I guess this is 2015 anyway um, this one is going to involve obviously just um, protagonist working in the medical field. I am familiar with a lot of the tropes of this line. I've just never actually read one. So this one is no exception. The heroine is a nurse and then the hero is a doctor. Okay, next up. Yes, another vintage, another gorgeous beauty with the red edges that I love so much. This one is called You Can't Stay Here by Barbara Gilmore, also for 75 cents. And um, this one was printed doesn't say it on the cover. This one was printed mm, 
Originally published 1967. That's impressive. And you know what? It looks like it was published in 1967. This, I'm not convinced, is 2015, but whatever. So, I love this style so much. So, so much. Um, it's short, too. Again, I'm going to read it really quickly because I want to share with you guys. Gillian wanted to, quote, get away from it all, so she took a job as headmistress in a tiny village school in the Yorkshire Dales. But even in this quiet spot, she still found it was possible to acquire personal problems and to make enemies. Ooh, so that actually sounds like some kind of um, suspense or mystery, right? Yep, color me intrigued with this one as well. And it's just so pretty to look at. <laughs> okay, people, last three. So let's see what we got here. Next up, we have a Harlequin romance, which is different than American romance, just to kind of show you the cover side by side. Um, and this one was printed, I'm gonna say 2020, because I've been so off. <laughs> 2015, I'm just kidding. And you know what, this one looks like it was made in 2015, so I can get down with that one. So this is called Gift Wrapped in Her Wedding Dress, and um, we have company, because my dog feels like he needs to be incorporated into the video. Okay, so this is by Candy Shepherd, and it's, oh, okay, a billionaire and a Christmas proposal. So this, do you mind? Okay. This one seems to take place over Christmas, so I might actually save this because you guys know I'm a seasonal reader, and um, wait until around the holidays to pick it up, if it does take place around Christmas. But um, proposal, a billionaire, Obviously, this is a yes for me. Okay, last two, last two. We've got another intrigue. And interestingly enough, um, this is a style that I'm used to for intrigue. Let me grab another one. Okay, so this is the newer version. And oops, this is the um, older version. Again, this is a version I'm used to. So this is comforting to me it's called a uh, native cowboy by rita heron Ooh, that sounds so familiar <laughs> i'm gonna have to look on my goodreads uh because i don't know if i've read this before it sounds really familiar but how funny would that be if i had um okay breathtaking romantic suspense obviously um protective custody for the child he never wanted and the woman he couldn't forget so clearly got some kind of um <laughs> I was gonna say baby mama drama. Let's go with that. That was what I wanted to say in the first place But yeah, you got that and I'm gonna assume yet again because of his cowboy hat that it takes place in Texas um, But you know what it doesn't actually say on the blurb in the back um, So oh nope. Yep. It says down here these Texas cowboys will help troubled boys become honorable men So there you have it a lot of books set in Texas, which is fascinating last up Okay, and they've actually packed it cover side down, so I don't know what it is by looking at it. So I'm gonna close my eyes and hold it up to the camera. Okay, was not at all expecting this. Um, I gotta be honest, doesn't even look like a Harlequin. Um, Heart Song Presents. So that's interesting. Anyone heard of this line before? Oh, but. This is one of the reasons why I love to use books, because there's someone's um, information in the front from when they originally read it. Okay, um, this is super interesting. Okay, so the name of the line is Heart Song Presents. Again, never heard of it. Um, but, um, you know what? I don't know if this is a Harlequin book. <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up. Um, because usually with all of the lines that Harlequin publishes, all the category lines, they will still say Harlequin or Silhouette on the inside pages, and this one doesn't. Um, it actually says, an imprint of Barber Publishing. So, I feel like I was a little duped. I'm going to do some research and not like jump to conclusions, but... Regardless, I will go ahead and uh, give you guys an overview of this book. I will say this is a, um, I guess a, um, what am I trying to say here? Religious romance, or excuse me, faith-based romance, because I'm looking here at the blurb at the bottom. Um, 
Ashley finds herself torn between the man she loved and the one she loves now. Only God can make this twisted path straight, but will anyone let him? Capital H-I-M, meaning God. So, yeah, really interesting. I know Harlequin obviously does publish um, lighter romances, or I think they have like a faith-based line, but I've never heard of this one. And it doesn't say anything about Harlequin on the first two pages. So I'm like, what's happening here? Um, anyway, this is still an interesting one to kind of end things with because let's be honest, I definitely wasn't expecting this to be the last one, but um, I forgot to mention the actual title of the book because I was so thrown off. It's called By the Beckoning Sea and it's by Carol Gift Page. So um, I can't lie, you know, visually I like the cover. It's very aesthetic and giving me calm Caribbean vibes because they are set on the beach, but I'm just thrown off because I've never heard of it. So I'm going to look it up. Oh, and I guess just for giggles, let's see when it was... Um, released and it says 2008 yeah I can see that I can see that okay so there you have it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15 14 15 books I was right a mystery box book haul that is focused on Harlequin. I thought that it was super interesting to get all of these books because again, they send you a mix. I know sometimes you can kind of put in requests about lines you want, lines you don't want, authors you want, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't do any of that. I went to it totally blind and I'm like, give me what you got. <laughs> and um, clearly the people had a preference for the intrigue line, again, which is a romantic suspense, um, as well as the presents line. So I am not, mad about it <laughs> because again i do enjoy romantic suspense a lot and i've never read any of these presents here it was very interesting to look at the dates of publication just because again i was under the impression that they were going to be um older and while i did get some awesome gems of some vintage books a lot of these were a lot more contemporary than i thought which isn't necessarily a bad thing um in fact i would actually say that it's a pretty good thing because for books to be so cheap or rather included in a box that's so expensive and they were only published last year that's that's really good i'm pretty sure if i would go to my local half price books um, something published in 2020 is not going to be barked down that much. So anyway, <laughs> if you're still sticking around, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had a fun time unboxing with you all. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was heavily influenced by my bookish friends, but I'm never mad about that because, you know, it's how I discover new gems that I would have otherwise never have stumbled across. Again, especially with these vintage Harlequins, which are just so gorgeous to look at. I am going to read them, but like, even if I never do, they look good on your shelf, right? Like, it's just... It's just so visually appealing. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you've read any of these, let me know if you're familiar or you're a fan of Harlequin or Silhouette. Let me know what your favorite line is, your favorite author. I know obviously you have a lot of authors who are um, very well known within the Harlequin universe, so you will see their names over and over again. And I can say that aside from maybe one or two of these authors i've never heard of them so all of this is new to me which i love so anyway <laughs> i've rambled enough i've got some books to find space to put them on my bookshelf i'm gonna go do that and i will talk to you guys later happy reading bye